the mighty Jupiter, is enthroned some 483 million miles from the Sun. A look at the chemical composition of the gas planet shows that the largest planet in the solar system is very different from our earthly home. Within the framework of several unmanned space projects, experts have already succeeded in revealing many secrets of the gas giant. However, the findings recorded so far, by no means, mean that we already know everything about the most imposing representative of our superordinate planetary system. In today's video, you'll find out which mysteries still surround the gigantic gas planet and which riddles have already been unraveled. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries and sensational discoveries of the universe? Then subscribe to Simply Space and never miss one of our videos in the future. Remember to give our posts a thumbs up to show us that we keep you engaged with our content. Now, let's delve into the great mysteries of Jupiter. Jupiter, Structure, Dimensions, and Shape how much larger Jupiter is than our home planet becomes clear when we consider that over 1,000 Earths would fit inside the giant gas planet. Thanks to this impressive equatorial diameter, which amounts to just under 90,000 miles, the celestial body appears in the firmament as a highly visible object, even though it's more than 370 million miles away from us. The ancient Romans were deeply impressed by this glistening point in the night sky, which is why they named Jupiter after their main god, Without further ado, as we already mentioned, the giant planet is not a terrestrial celestial body with a solid surface, but a gas planet. As the name of this class of planet reveals, these formations are mainly composed of volatile substances. Although Jupiter consists mainly of gases, it is still conceivable that it has a solid planetary core. Its characteristic chemical composition also enables the planet to rotate around its own axis with incredible speed. While our Earth needs 24 hours to turn once around itself, Jupiter does the same in less than 10 hours. This circumstance leads to the fact that the atmosphere of the gas planet constantly deforms due to the acting rotation forces. This causes Jupiter to appear much slimmer at the poles than at its equatorial region. In layman's terms, this means that the celestial body is practically wider than it is tall. For Jupiter to completely orbit the Sun, it takes almost 12 years. Its position far away from the Sun, in combination with its chemical composition, also leads to the fact that the planet is characterized by frosty temperatures amounting to negative 162 degrees Fahrenheit on average. However, the further we penetrate into the lower layers of the gas giant, the higher the prevailing temperatures rise. The same is true for pressure. The combination of higher temperatures and increased pressure also causes the chemical elements to liquefy more and more towards the center of the planet. As already briefly mentioned, the substances in the core region could possibly even exist in a solid state. The experts assume that this hypothetical planet core would be about as large as our Earth. What immediately catches our eye when we look at the gas giant are the fascinating stripe patterns that extend across the entire planet. This varied coloring is created by the different gases in the atmosphere of the celestial body. For example, ammonia and sulfur structures stand out visually. Continuous observations brought the realization that the orbits running parallel to the equator are subject to gradual change. These changes affect not only the coloration of the gas streaks, but also their extensions. The small patches that decorate the gas orbits are in turn violent whirlwinds. These are favored by the rapid rotation speed of the planet and can reach speeds of over 300 miles per hour. While terrestrial tornadoes and hurricanes die down after a short time, some comparable formations on Jupiter prove to be much more long-lived. For example, the giant hurricane known as the Great Red Spot has been raging in the gas giant's uppermost atmospheric layers for at least 300 years. Just like Saturn, Jupiter also has an independent ring system. This ring system is composed of small dust and rock particles. Compared to the hundreds of thousands of rings surrounding Saturn, Jupiter's isolated counterparts are much less spectacular. Jupiter is accompanied by at least 79 moons. By far the most famous of Jupiter's satellites are the four Galilean moons, Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa. What's going on inside Jupiter? 
As mentioned earlier, Jupiter is characterized by a frosty cold. Therefore, the fact that temperatures near the center heat up to over 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit seems all the more astonishing. But how do these drastic temperature differences actually arise? The gas giant is composed almost exclusively of helium and hydrogen. Normally, these chemical elements exist in a gaseous state of aggregation. However, when hydrogen is exposed to enormous temperatures and pressure, it has the natural property of liquefying or even forming metallic shapes. Anyone who has ever been scuba diving should have experienced firsthand how the pressure differences play out in reality. The deeper we dive into the sea, the more water masses there are above us. This pressure, which literally weighs on us, thus presses on the regions below. Simply expressed, we can transfer this circumstance to the processes in the interior of Jupiter. At the low pressure conditions in the layers above, the molecules possess sufficient space to distribute themselves. Understandably, this circumstance changes when the pressure in the underlying areas becomes higher and higher. This leads to the molecules in question being slowly but surely squeezed together before they finally lose their gaseous state altogether and become liquid. At the bottom of the deep sea, there is a pressure of about 1,000 bar. So if you were at the bottom of the deepest ocean floor, you would have the feeling that several cars were weighing down on your body. What seems to us at first glance to be an incomparably strong force is in reality nothing compared to the pressure that prevails in the center of Jupiter. In fact, the pressure level here rises to a breathtaking 100,000 bar. While many experts believe that these extreme conditions led to the formation of a solid planetary core, other experts consider an alternative hypothesis more likely. According to this hypothesis, the center of the gas giant isn't a solid structure, but rather a liquefied accumulation of boiling hot material. In order to further decipher the natural composition and characteristics of Jupiter, NASA sent the Juno space probe into the infinite expanse of space. The unmanned spacecraft left our blue home planet on August 5th, 2011, and swung into orbit around the gas giant nearly five years later. Current plans call for Juno to continue to observe Jupiter and its moons until 2025. The NASA probe will not only find out whether the gas planet has a solid core, but also investigate the atmospheric composition of the celestial body in detail. The secrets surrounding the origin of Jupiter's magnetic field are also to be unraveled as part of the large-scale project current state of the Juno mission. The first insights transmitted by the Juno probe, which became known in February 2017, left terrestrial scientists perplexed. While many experts had previously been firmly convinced that there was a gigantic solid core the size of Earth inside Jupiter, the facts painted a completely different picture. The complex measuring instruments of the spacecraft detected nothing that indicated the existence of such a planetary core. The first attempts at explanation said that the theoretical core would possibly not be concentrated in the center of the gas planet but would have to be looked for against the original assumptions in other areas. An examination of Jupiter's magnetosphere, which repeatedly produces sparkling auroras, showed that the corresponding layer is in fact much more pronounced than scientists had previously assumed. The microwave spectrometer that examined the atmosphere of the celestial body revealed that the movements within the gas layers take place much deeper than the experts' predictions had suspected. Also, the real distributions of matter did not agree with the theoretical models of experts. Besides the gigantic whirlwinds and dazzling auroras, it's above all the mega flashes on Jupiter that have kept the experts on their toes for some time. Particularly strange was the fact that the Jupiter flashes had no radio waves in the megahertz range, which clearly distinguished them from their terrestrial counterparts. With the help of the modern measuring instruments on the Juno spacecraft, the outdated data collected during the Voyager mission in the late 1970s could be successfully deepened and extended. Thus we know today that the radio radiation of the Jupiter flashes does also occur in the megahertz spectrum. But the question of why the lightning on Jupiter, unlike on Earth, occurs mainly in the polar regions of the celestial body, was also waiting to be answered before the Juno mission. At present, the conclusion is that the weather on the gas planet is not created by the energy of solar radiation, but by the forces that the celestial body itself generates in its interior. However, 
while the lightning whips through the atmosphere, mainly at the North Pole and not at the South Pole, remains an unsolved mystery. In any case, we're looking forward to the research results that the Juno probe will bring to light in the future. Now, it's your turn. Which fact about Jupiter has you most captivated? Just write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Now click on one of the images in the credits to get to more exciting videos on the topic of space. Thank you for your great interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.